Okay, so you're 65 and you're still working. Question is, is it time to sign up for Medicare? Today I'm gonna to show you the ins and outs of that magic age of 65 and coordinating your Medicare benefits. Keep it right here. Good day everyone, Chris Herland here of Reap Financial, host of Retire Ready TV on KXAN and host of Wealth Radio every Saturday, 11 a.m. on News Radio KLBJ. Thanks for tuning in with us. If you like our channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, you're 65, you're still working, you're on your employer's health care. Do you need to sign up for Medicare? That's the question. Well, whether you're working or not, understand this. There's a seven month window when you turn 65 that you need to consider. You can sign up for Medicare, three months before your age of 65, the month that you turn 65, and as well, the three months following. Now, if you're not employed, you don't have health care. If you miss this window, you can actually be assessed a penalty that sticks with you for life, and it can even increase year over year. So you need to be aware of the seven month window that comes alongside you at 65. Okay, now there's this thing called the Medicare Special Enrollment Period, and this applies to those of you that are 65, you're covered under your employer health plan, and you're still covered by that. You can delay filing for Medicare at that age of 65. You can delay without being assessed that penalty. That only applies to those of you that aren't covered. And as well, depending on your employer, they may want you to sign up for a portion of Medicare or all of Medicare. But in that case, you can enroll in Medicare even though you are still employed. So they call that the special enrollment period. Now we need to also be aware that there's a Medicare and Medigap open enrollment period. Let me tell you how this works. During this Medicare or supplemental open enrollment period, there's a one-time only six-month period when the federal law allows you to buy Medigap. Now Medigap or your supplemental starts the first month that you're covered under Medicare Part B and age 65 plus. And during this period, you cannot be denied a policy for health problems. So that's a very important aspect of this. I've talked for years with our families around social security benefits, but if you're 65, your mailbox is probably really full. Could be invitations to educational events, dinners, you know what I'm talking about. And it's daunting because it's Medicare A, B, C, D, G, and the list goes on. Which one makes sense for you and your family? Let me make it simple and easy for you. Get your hands on my new report, Medicare 101. We'll send it directly to your inbox. Email me right now, retire at reapfinancial.com. That's retire at reapfinancial.com and my team will have this great new report on its way to your inbox. Be sure and tune in with me every single Wednesday where we drop new content. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We'll see you next week.